Hi, Barb here, and I'm here to teach you an informal meditation called STOP. And you may have heard it before, and you may already be practicing it, and that is great. So what is the purpose of STOP? STOP allows us to stop the mind in its tracks when it's beginning to spin, right? When, when we have some type of setback or trauma or stress, and we know how we just get so worked up and we continue to add fuel and fire to this, to this story, which just kicks us into our sympathetic nervous system and it really challenges the physical and emotional body. So stop meditation will stop the mind in its tracks. It brings the mind-body back into equilibrium, into a calmer state. And it brings us back to the present moment. And usually the present moment is better than that stressor. So we're always trying to create a little bit of space from whatever is trying is starting to work us up. If you tend to catastrophize, this stop meditation is a tool you want to practice every single day. Are you familiar with what catastrophizing is? It's the what ifs. Do you continuously think of the worst case scenario for every, every, every situation in life, right? Well, if I, if I call him or if I call her, or if I reach out, what if they don't call me back? Well, I, I want to apply for that job, but what if, right? Those what ifs. What ifs can really be a challenge. They can cause anxiety. They can cause us to have a panic attack. So the stop meditation is ideal if you tend to have a lot of what ifs. I encourage you to practice this tool in everyday life, perhaps not when you're really stressed out. Because a new, new tool, in order for it to be effective, needs to be practiced so it's in your toolbox. So that when you begin to catastrophize, instead of feeding into it, you say, ah, wait, I can stop, right? So everyday situations become an ideal ground for practice. And I'll explain that after we go through the STOP. So STOP is an acronym. And the S is stop. We need to recognize that we're beginning to spin and we need to stop it, all right? We need to cut it off. And that's harder than it sounds. So practice, practice, practice. So once we stop, the T stands for take a breath. Take a deep inhale through the nose and a deep exhale through the nose or the mouth and perhaps even take another breath, but take at least one deep breath. Doing so helps to remove us from that stimulus. It gives our, our mind something else to focus on when we focus on the breath. O, O stands for observe. You want to observe what's happening in your body when you begin to stress. Feel how your shoulders perhaps go towards your ears. Feel the tension in the muscles in your body. Feel perhaps the heart rate increasing. So you really want to observe what that stimulus does to the physical body. And then P is proceed with a little bit more clarity. So let me give you a couple of examples of how you can practice using stop meditation in your regular life. So I want you to think of your triggers, that somebody who you live with, they do something and it drives you crazy. I'll give you an example. When my husband takes a shower and he steps out of the shower without wiping his feet and he steps onto the, onto the rug and then he steps all over the tile, it drives me crazy and he never stops. So what do I do? I practice stop. So when I step in the water and maybe fall asleep, I stop. I take a breath. I observe the emotion and what it's causing in my body. And I proceed with a little bit more clarity. It's only water on the floor. It's not life-threatening. It's okay. 
Another example is we no longer have children in our house and we have a stainless steel refrigerator and sometimes I open the refrigerator and that handle is just so crusty and it's sticky and I'm like why is it all sticky? There's no children in this house. Stop. Take a breath. Observe how that sticky handle is making me feel in my body. Proceed with a little bit more clarity. It's okay. I could wipe it off. It's not life-threatening. It's okay. So that's your stop meditation. And practice it because when we are in the moment, when something triggers us, something disappoints us, we have an argument, we cannot think, oh, let me use this. It has to be more natural. So this tool is so helpful. Creating these moments of pause is so incredibly powerful. And it's so healing. Every time you take a stop, you are taking a step towards improving your emotional well-being. It is so worthy. And if you don't believe it, that's okay, right? Just practice it, okay? Part of the, the, the definition of mindfulness is doing something on purpose, practicing a stop meditation in the present moment, practice, without judgment or expectation. Just practice and see what happens. So I invite you to practice. Practice at home and notice if you're beginning to, to bring it into your daily life. And when that happens, say, tell yourself how proud you are of yourself because that is tremendous. Good luck. I hope you practice. Leave me a comment if you will. If you have practiced stop meditation and if it's helped you, maybe your feedback, feedback will help somebody else practice a little bit more diligently. Namaste.